Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion, and this time it's going to be a rank three six star champion. Now, I'm starting this off here, opening up some crystals because I need some more T4 class catalysts to do this rank up. And this is the only hint that you'll get because I'm not going to tell you which class of catalyst I needed. So we're just spinning these, but we're actually going to pop uh, 10 of them. Because when I looked at my catalyst stash, I was low on pretty much all of them. Even, even uh, tech, which they kept giving me so many of. But after ranking up a lot of tech champions, I'm actually low in tech. So... None of these will go into the overflow, even with a 10 pop. So uh, to speed things up and to also hide what I was looking for, I just went ahead and popped. All right. So we opened up 14 and you can see I got a bunch of these. You don't know which class, but I did get all that I needed in that. Okay. So. Now, we will find out. And if you want to guess who I am about to take up, leave a comment. I wonder if you can guess who's going to be my latest rank three. But take a guess. We're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two. One, Nick Fury. All right, so let me explain why I decided to take Nick Fury up, even though he's not awakened. And this is not the first time that I've done this. I've taken other champions to rank three, knowing that eventually I'm going to be able to awaken them. Now, I have the five-star rank five awakened Nick Fury, who will be used until I can get this guy awakened. But I had some T2 alphas that were going to be expiring. And again, I know I want to take Nick Fury up to rank three. Now, I'm probably not going to use him until he's awakened over the five star. That life model decoy is key. Uh, for me, anyway, uh, to use Nick Fury. But the T2 alphas that were expiring, that is one reason. Another reason is that we've got Cyber Weekend coming. So there will be an opportunity to possibly awaken him or Silver Surfer, depending on what the deals look like. We could get a generic. We could also get a regular crystal. And I could get a skill, Awakening Gem, out of it. Uh, I still have content to do. And so it's not a matter of if. I don't have to rely on RNG completely to awaken my Nick Fury. So just like I took up uh, other champions to rank three and they were unawakened, now Nick Fury is up there. And I will awaken him eventually. Uh, all right, so we're going to go over to Realm of Legends, and we're just going to play around with him and see what his damage looks like. All right, let's head on in. As you can see, I have only Nick Fury on the team, no synergies. Uh, I am running suicides, so the damage will be uh, inflated somewhat. Uh, but I'm very curious to see what his uh, damage looks like. All right, let's do this. See. Oh, all right. Woo! Look at that. 2,000. A tick. Wow. All right. That's that is awesome. All right. Let me um let me put a heavy attack in there. Weave it in. Okay. Now, keep in mind that when he's awakened, 
and he's on his uh, second life, he does a lot more damage. So this damage he's doing here is good, but it will be so much better when he's on his uh, second life. But he's not doing that bad. The damage is not that bad, uh, even right now. He's doing a pretty good job here. Okay. Get some more. When a soldier is less than half his health right now. Uh, oh, and I am running uh, Deep Wounds. Maxed out. So that is helping. Let's hit him with a special two. One more there. Woo! Man, look at that damage. I want to hit him with another special two. Come on, wake up. There we go. Boom. That. And he's down. So... I didn't play him, you know, to the best damage that he could possibly do. But as you can see, his damage is there. And that is without him being awakened. Let's do another one. When I am able to get him awakened, he is going to be insane. Okay, so let's just... Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some more, um, some more special twos. And uh, see how that goes. Now, Nick Fury is not uh, suicide friendly. Even though it is increasing his uh, damage, he's not suicide friendly. There we go that up on her. There you go. Want to get another uh, special two off. Hmm. Was that 11k crit that I saw there? Hmm. And just because I'll fire off the special one. He's got some utility there when he gets his tactical charges up. Um, uh, not that they're going to help us in this fight. But, you know, may as well just show it to you. Okay. Let's give, him a, give her another special two. Boom. And she's down. So, Nick Fury, even unawakened, he's got the damage. And when I'm able to awaken him, it's going to be a wrap. Uh, right now, I use the rank 5 in war. That's the only 5 star currently that I'm using in war. So, I would love to add this guy to my attack team. Because he only needs to be awakened. He doesn't need a high sig. Just one sig level is enough for Nick Fury. All right. So that is going to do it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you agree. You know, I know some people don't like taking champions up when they are not awakened. Because, you know, who knows when you're going to awaken them. But I've done that. And... I can say that it's usually not been a long time uh, after I've taken them up to rank three that I awaken them. So let's see if that holds uh, for Nick Fury as well. But you already know, if I get a skill awakening gem, it's going to him. And if I get a generic and I already have Silver Surfer awakened, then it's going to go to him. All right, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video, what you thought of this rank up. Take care, and you all 
have a blessed day. Thank you.